Dr. Burnett, you're the co-chair of the, the uh, panel that developed the new AUA guideline on Peyronie's disease. Um, this is the first AUA guideline on Peyronie's disease. Why release a guideline on this condition now? Well, I think a guideline in Peyronie's disease is timely. Uh, with the uh, development of therapies that, that seem to meet level one evidence, meet a level of rigor that uh, suggests that we do have uh, some truly effective therapies. Mm -hmm. uh, certainly, this is a condition that I think uh, we're recognizing uh, by epidemiologic studies has high prevalence and, ha and has high significance. It impacts a lot of men. Um, so consequently, urologists, I think, need to be more informed uh, about what we have available for therapies, know how to manage these patients, uh, and uh, hopefully uh, have a positive role in, in their best care. What are some of the key do's and don'ts or key recommendations uh, of, py of Pyronis disease management outlined in the guideline? Well, we call them clinical principles uh, in the guideline. Uh, and that is distinguished from some expert opinion and some recommendations. So we have all of this contained in the guideline. Uh, but uh, some clinical principles are really just some overarching uh, uh, principles about managing this disease state. Uh, it's stated, for example, uh, that uh, the urologist or clinician should be uh, uh, prepared to carry out a proper evaluation of the patient, uh, that includes clinical history taking, physical examination, and counseling the patient, and making sure that the patient then is aware of the treatment options, as well as uh, their various considerations of these options in terms of their advantages and disadvantages, and also accounting for patient preferences. So uh, it requires that the, at least as principles, that, that, that the clinician involved uh, really have a good handle on how we go about managing the patient. These are some of the main principles to be discussed. Does the guideline indicate what the gold standard is for treatment of Peyronie's disease, or is it patient dependent? Well, I think there uh, are uh, statements uh, uh, that uh, should guide uh, the uh, clinician involved in the care of the patient with Peyronie's disease to know that there are uh, gold standards. Uh, we, we should properly evaluate the patient and establish uh, whether it's active disease or stable disease understand the different therapies that are involved for this uh, condition depending on characterizing that individual patient's presentation. Mm -hmm. uh, it also does consider patient preferences, but there are recommendations that should fit uh, the, pr the presentation that may differ between patients. I do think that this is an important guideline. I think that it is a guideline that uh, should uh, help guide you know, urologists and practitioners in this field uh, to bring the patients the, the very best care uh, as we have it. I think it also brings awareness to the, to the condition overall, mm -hmm. and it should help guide us about where we do have gaps in our knowledge, uh, gaps in, in some of the care that we uh, currently have available, mm -hmm. and it may help derive future directions uh, in the future for, for uh, treating patients with pyrotonic disease.